joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! Well, I'm doing something I haven't done for a while. I know the last one was enjoyed, which is basically a second-hand bag semi-challenge. <laughs> Where what I just challenge myself to do is I look at a bag, I see something that I really want, and I see the price and then I buy the bag based on that one thing I like. Now that one thing I like could be something that I buy for 50 cents and the entire bag could be worth $5. But I'm taking that sort of gamble and it's always interesting to see. You know, um, some of them work out really well and some of them <laughs> just end up being full of McDonald's toys. So I'm going to start off with one I got at the markets. So this one, obviously, the first, I picked it up, I saw Palace Pets, and I saw it was $3, and it even says on it Palace Pets, so I was like, okay, yep, I'll take the gamble. I could obviously see there was a lot of things in there. I did not look through them. I just saw what, what I saw when I picked it up, <laughs> which was a bunch of Palace Pets. So uh, they could be fakies. I don't know. Let's go through. Now, each of these tiny little pets, oops, get it in the camera there. I would pay 50 cents for now things that I identify I'll put along the bottom for you guys and when I pick up the first bag I'll do a conversion from New Zealand to US if you're in pounds just basically half the New Zealand price that's really cute what else is in this bag so again if you're looking at these things I would usually pay 50 cents a dollar for something that's particularly rare or I need to complete a set I don't know if this is a palace pet, but it's super duper cute. <laughs> it's a gold one, so I wonder if that's a special one. Alright, so again, I don't know if this one is a palace pet. Needs a bit of a clean, tiny bit dirty. Okay, and this one is suffering from what a lot of palace pets do, which is basically they miss their crowns. Um, if they're missing their crowns, again, 50 cents, 20 cents is what I'd generally pay. But um, this is unfortunately something that is going to happen with toys like this when you're buying secondhand. The accessories get lost. This is Treasure, one of my favorite palace pets. So that's super cute. Cycle through these as fast as I can. Oh, this one's missing her tail. So this one will be given away or basically customized if the kids want to cover it in paint. Yeah, I think this is the... Um, Bells, Bells horse, maybe. So I think this is the horse. I think the other horses were some other sort of set. We have a raccoon of some sort. I'm not up to date with all the palace pets. Um, they brought out like four originally, and then they kept on expanding and giving them other ones, like you know, horses and stuff. <laughs> so this looks like it could be Ariel's horse with those red hair. And this one I think is Mulan's little panda. Missing the thing. So anything like that, you know, I can hold on to them if I particularly want them and see if I can fill them out with other things. But generally when it comes to 50 cents toys, I generally just put them back in a bag to put them back in the thrift stores. Okay, so uh, I got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, eleven little pets there, which generally are pretty in good condition. There was just a couple that will be back. So, let's just say eight to nine that I'll keep. So, at 50 cents each of eight, that's four dollars what I'd generally pay. So, yeah, I'm all right with that bag. This one worked out well. <laughs> So next is a $2 bag. So the one I saw was a magic diaper pet. And I don't know what the others are. I just saw the magic diaper pet. So this was $2. Now I can say this, I would easily pay $2 just for a magic diaper pet. Um, these are something I had the entire sets when I was younger. And then in my teenage years, I gave them all away. And um, I've always regretted it. So I probably do have this one, but um, Magic Diaper Pets are actually something that I hold on to because they are sought after, so I can use them as swaps. So let's see what else is in the... Ooh. <laughs> I don't think the Magic Diaper Pet is just going to be it. Yeah, this little fella, no, no, he's not going in there. He's going on the ground. He's going into the sorting bag immediately. Um, oh, same with this little sweetie. Bit dirty too. Glad I got my gloves on. 
Uh, let's have a look. We got a little guy like this. Now when you're buying things like this, I always say, oh, this is a bully land dog. Um, I ch keep them if they're schleck, schleck. Um, if it's Papo, only if they're particularly cute, but um, Schleet, you, you know, you can pay like eight dollars, seven to eight dollars New Zealand just for a tiny little dog. Um, none of these things I'll be keeping. So in that bag, I, again, I pretty much paid what I would have for the toy individually anyway, so there was no bonuses on that. Someone keeps texting me, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're going to grab one of the bigger bags. So I've already... Oh, some of these I've pulled apart already. I think this is, yeah, one. And what was the price tag on this? Five dollars. Now the thing I saw in this, which I love to collect, is La La Loopsies. So I've got the little fairies here. I don't know if it's going to work out to be five dollars worth. We'll see. Alright. So the first thing to come out is some Lovelies gel pen set. <laughs> So I'm assuming this is Schmiggle. Yeah, it's Schmiggle. Uh, Schmiggle is a very, very popular brand in New Zealand. You can see most of them are used and they're not all used. So this will definitely be going in our art set. Um, Schmiggle is amazing products. I've done reviews on their sets. You can go check those out if you want. Um, some of those videos have got thousands upon thousands of views. Um, what have we got here? Okay, so this is something you can get from the $2 store. It is a butterfly kit. Um, it's not really something that I'm going to keep, so I'm going to give it back to the thrift stores. What else? Oop. All right, a tiny little headband, plasticky. Nah, it's not going to be something I keep. Oh, bows. Um, as long as they're not dirty, I will definitely keep bows. So this is something that you can pick up for about 50 cents if you're looking in the right sort of place, you know. That I am definitely keeping because bows are in in our house right now, let me tell you. All right, so this is something that some lovely would go absolutely ballistic for. It is an Anna crown, which is, hmm, I don't, I'm assuming that must go up. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it goes that way and I was like, how on earth are they going to meant to do it on their head there? So it's a little thing. It Frozen is not a big thing in our house. It's actually really weird that um, Astra is so anti-frozen. All right, we have a G4. My Little Pony, which you can't get anymore, and it's hmm, one of my favorite little ponies. So she, we are definitely keeping her, and for the markets, I'd pay about a dollar to two dollars for them now. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, I would pay about two dollars for this at the markets, the reason being, it, it oh, it's got 50 cents in there. <laughs> Okay, so we can bring the bag down to $4.50, is it, it says 50 cents, oh, in this bag, and I'm dropping it now. <laughs> but this is a BJD, if you don't know what a BJD is, um, a ball jointed doll, I have a lot of Japanese dolls and smart dolls, um, this is definitely something, and it's beautiful and clean, it looks designer, it looks gorgeous, I love this, I would most, almost certainly have picked this up at the market for $2, no problem. We have some goggles. Now, um, things like this, I don't generally like when people, um, especially when they've got scratches and dirt marks all over them. You know, this is something, just put it in the rubbish bag. Honestly, um, don't donate it to the secondhand stores, you know. What I'm trying to say is when something's like that, where it's come in contact with eyes and nose and stuff like that, I, I would, and it's looking a bit dented, you know, just put it in the rubbish bin. I know it's for a good cause, but it... You know, it's just one of those things. <laughs> so this is a squishy. Um, it looks, yeah, it's got, it's a squishy that's been squished and had its day. So that, again, will go in the rubbish. How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. We have a lot of hair ties. Mm, yeah, these will be thrown out too. Um, if they looked new, I would most definitely keep them. I have kept hair ties that have gotten bags before, but these things, there are some stains on them, which tends to suggest, not that, that anyone's worn them, but maybe they've been sitting around or come to contact with something dirty. I'm just gonna throw them out. We've got plenty of hair ties. Okay, what's this thing? All right, we have a crab, a sparkly crab thing. Uh, not really anything that I can say that we would collect. 
So I'm just going to give that back to the thrift store. It's good quality and there's no point in throwing that out. Ooh, doo -doo, we're still getting through here. <laughs> okay, so these sorts of things. Oh no, it's got a stain on. Um, yeah. I'm going to say this, I see these all the time, um, plushies all the time in thrift stores that have, you know, like brown stains or other things on them. They don't sell and from the workers that I've spoken to, they just generally want to say, you know, if it's clean, if it's good quality, if it's vintage or something like that, sure, they'll be interested in it. But when it's something like this, where there isn't too much of a huge demand for them and they're just you know, and they've got stains on them. They just sit on the shelves forever and sometimes that's why they get put in these bags. So I'm just gonna put this into the rubbish. I'm sorry, but yeah, he's got a big brown stain. You don't know what that stain is, it's going. <laughs> okay, we have a spinning top. USA Channel Craft, I don't know what that is. We have a spinning top. That's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna put it into the donation pile. Oh, so this is probably a Smiggles band. Yeah, that is. Smiggles is really, really noticeable in their quality. So this is something which we will actually keep because these things seem to go through phases with the kids. I don't know why. Getting to what I saw and what I wanted. Now, I know this little sweetheart here is missing her wings, but I may have a spare wings. One thing with blind bags is you can find accessory pieces for other things and other wings and when I don't have the little things or when they're particularly something I love to collect such as La La Loopsie I don't mind having the extras so I'm very very happy with these I probably would have paid 50 cents for this one I would have paid a dollar for this one at the markets so let's put that aside now we have a oh my goodness gracious me now this is a bit crazy but I am most definitely keeping these erasers my daughter loves art and I am going through razors like chocolates basically. Um, <laughs> I'm always running out of them. So anything like this, um, I mean some of these don't look like they're even being used. This one especially and yeah the little ones in the tube. Absolutely useful. They're Smiggles brand so they're good stuff. So I'm going to put that all rock paper scissors. Might be rock paper scissors for all I know. Because um, the pencil case is rock paper scissors got 50 cents we'll keep that down there we'll do a tally of what I would have paid in the market individually at the end okay Oop. oops what on earth is that thing okay so this looks like something which might have come out of like a Zoru 5 surprise egg what it doesn't say I don't it doesn't say anything just has a bunch of numbers uh not really something that I collect and I really don't have any interest in it it's not cute enough <laughs> Okay, we have another bunch of erasers. These are most, most definitely going to be kept. So, I think these are rock, paper, scissors. These ones came out in little test tubes. I'm sure it's rock, paper, scissors, those ones. Oh, another big monster eraser. Definitely keeping, so I'm just going to throw him to the side. What have we got here? We have a... Ooh, these are rubber quality, but you don't use them as erasers. They'll just mess things up. And it, oh my goodness, he comes apart. Poor little monster. All right. So ugh, I don't really like these and they're just going to go in the rubbish bin because they're dirty. <laughs> I don't like them. All right. So we have a bow with a dirty mark on, which is immediately going to go in the rubbish bin. We have a hair clip. Um, does it have any rusting on it? Yeah. I'm just not I'm just gonna throw it out I'm not gonna keep it and we have what I would call a modeling toolkit now things like this you can get in the two dollar shop when they sell like the air dry clays and stuff so just give me a second I'll bring the camera down and we'll see if I made my five dollars worth in this bag all right so here are my things here for this um some of them are used but to be honest um you know, you pay $10 for an entire pack of these. I probably, if I was to buy it at the market, I would have only spent a dollar buying a slightly used pack. Some of them are really full up and others are like, I think the, yeah, like the green is way down here. So probably, yeah, a dollar, a dollar at the most if I'd picked it up at the markets. These, I probably would have paid a dollar for the entire lot again, because they are erasers. Um, 
and I would have been quite happy with that because as I said we go through erasers like they are candy <laughs> when my daughter's doing her artwork so we got two dollars so far and we can immediately make that two dollars fifty as I found fifty cents within this purse now my favorite find was this and I would have paid two dollars at the market for this for my ball jointed dolls it's gorgeous it opens up I'm assuming it's a lipstick case of some sort TikTok the brand is TikTok I don't know I'm, it looks fantastic and it's openable and I love it I love it so much so we're up to four dollars fifty I would have paid yeah 20 cents for this I'm just gonna put this one aside I'm not gonna put a value on it but four dollars fifty and um, fifty cents to a dollar for this one here let's put it 50 cents the lower mark so five dollars this little sweetheart, uh, I pay a dollar most of the time, but you know, 50 cents a dollar most of the time if I can pick them up, but lately they have been going up in price at the markets for two dollars. So I'm gonna put it at what I see the market price as, two dollars, so six, seven dollars. These two things I would have paid 57 for, so eight dollars. So I got eight dollars of what I would have paid at the market in that five dollar bag. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, so on to the next one. Let's just grab the nearest one. What did I buy this for? Okay, this was a $5 bag. And what did I see in it? Oh, I instantly saw this Jurassic Park figure. And, you know, I've said it on other things before. I absolutely love Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and all that sort of stuff. So I've opened this one up already. I think this is going to be one of these doozy bags where I paid more than what I would have if I'd just brought the one individually, but I didn't want to cheat in any sort of way. <laughs> so, okay, we have a uh, wind up one of these, which doesn't even work. Come on, my dear, what do you do? Yeah, that a some little boy will absolutely love that. I'm going to be snobby and say that Blake tends to like to speak you know stick to the JP brand so this looks like a McDonald's toy with my favorite turtle arm Leonardo choo, 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 choo. <laughs> that can go back into the system alright so this looks like one of those props they have in the seafood stores definitely nothing that I feel I need to keep or have in any sort of way I mean maybe I'll put it outside in the big ponds we have a big pond moat outside um but uh nah <laughs> no so the reason I brought this bag was I saw this guy in here oh my goodness gracious me now I would have happily paid I would have absolutely paid $3 for this guy, which is why when I saw the $5 price tag, I've taken the gamble that there's something else I want in there for $2. He's working. Look at that snap action. He has his, um, oh, he has his cover. Quite often when I go to the markets, they're missing their cover to their, um, to their injuries. So he has, you know, if someone injures him, the kids can do role play like this. Um, I don't have this guy, I don't think. Whoops. Ah, now she can't get it back. I'll fall with that later, but I absolutely love Jurassic Park figures. Just look at the face. I love the detailing on them. I love pretty much everything about them. Uh, you can see the Jurassic World one there, and some of them do not work, so always test them when you're at the markets. No problem with that. I can't get this up because my gloves are on and it's dingy, but yeah. I would have easily paid three dollars for him so we're three dollars up we just need something in here <laughs> to fill that two dollars we have a mcdonald's toy from ice age is it manny the big elephant dude <laughs> I haven't seen ice age in ages i know they made a ton of movies we have a little telescope to look through nothing that can it get bigger on it no nah. nothing that i want if i'm putting them down this way they're going back into the system Oh, well, a very unfortunate looking zebra. <laughs> oh, and his tummy's dented in. The poor thing's been attacked by the in Jurassic Park. I think it's the Indominus Rex. We have the big one that does the lights down its back and everything. And a rather unfortunate looking tiger. Again, nothing that I want. Yeah, like I said, I think this is... 
Oh, is this a Duplo? Hmm. I'm going to put this aside in the hmm pile because I have a niece now and eventually I'm assuming she wants to do Duplo. I don't actually know much about Duplo. I didn't actually buy it for my kids. Um, my son loved his train set which came with building blocks more. All right, we've got another McDonald's toy with Beast Boy. Pile for that. A uh, little unfortunate looking Leonardo. Pile for that. <laughs> ah, McDonald's. Michelangelo. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I honestly only keep vintage McDonald's toys or things that are particularly interesting to me. Um, we have a Squishy Penguin, which is a no, and a Donatello, which is a no. So, that bag, I did not make anything on. Basically, for $5, I paid for this, which is more than I would have paid in the market. So, you win some, you lose some. So far, I am doing well on three bags. Not so well on this one. I'll put the ones that don't go not so well on this side and those sides. What are we going to do next? Let's do one I haven't opened yet. I'm just going to rip into it. Oh. So this bag was $4. You can see it here. Oop. Oop. Now, I know she's super popular and all that sort of stuff. It's even got its tags on. Jojo Siwa. Super cute. Uh, my kids were never into Jojo. This is something that some little lovely is absolutely going to go crazy over. So I'll put that back into the system. And hey, if the thrift stores can get another dollar for it, that's fantastic. Okay, we have green turtle pencil case. All right. It's nice and clean, so it most definitely has not been used. It's got a secondary tray. Oh, the second tray has been used. It looks like there's colored pencils in there. This one's nice and clean, though. Um, Again... Nothing that I'll use since my kids tend to stick to Smiggles brand. We'll put that down there. Ah, face mask. Ooh la la, how labyrinth of us. Um, yeah, nah. <laughs> I don't even, I didn't actually look why I grabbed this bag. Why did I grab this bag? Oh, for what's coming next. Okay, yeah. So squinkies, I think they are squishies or squinkies or something. Now these are something which I was late to the party on. Um, they actually sold out New Zealand stores pretty fast around where I was. They're these tiny little balls with these like tiny little squishy characters and then they're much like, you know, Shopkins and stuff. There were rare ones and all sorts of things. So there is an entire bag of them. Plus, it looks like some um, of the puppy, you know, puppy in my pockets. That's a jungle in my pocket. Puppy in my pocket. My son collects those. So we have about one, two, three, four, five puppy in my pocket. Pop it. Blah, blah. Puppy in my pocket assortment. A whole bunch of these squinkies and some erasers so at the market i definitely pay 50 cents each per these because i have before so five of them that's two dollars fifty um and all these squinkies i think i would have picked up the whole bag for three dollars i would have been at there's so many razors there but i would have picked up the bag of these squinkies for three dollars quite happily just to go through them because they are something i want to collect and i was late to the party so three dollars on this. I was starting to worry about that bag. It's like, why on earth did I pick this bag up? So we just need to make a dollar more. Oh, hang on, no. And the puppy in my pockets were $2.50. So three and two fifty, five fifty. dollars I've already made on this bag. So that's good. Uh, some sort of character printed treat bags. Okay, some sort of one you stick, I guess, homemade chocolate eggs in or something. Not really something I'm into. I'd rather pay the $2 and just get the eggs pre-made. Thanks. <laughs> Again, some spinning tops. Kids are beyond those, so... What is this? Oh, so, 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 so your pants, as my husband would say. Um, a whole bunch of bracelets and things. Well, let's get to the other two things that were in here. We've got a tiny little notepad. Honestly, we get so many of these from gift bags and sometimes companies and... 
Oh, I got given a whole bunch of free stuff the other day by a company, which I just was like, ugh. I've got so many notepads and pencils and pens and things like that. Thanks very much. <laughs> uh, so this is something that I'll just recycle back into the system. Now, this actually interests me. I'm going to bring the camera down and we're going to go through bit by bit. As I said, this is a long one. If you need to skip through, just skip through to the next thing if you're not interested in bracelets. All right, so let's go through. Now, bracelets, I can pick up entire bags for 4 to $5 at a place I go. Um, I'm not going to give the name because it's one of my secret places that I go and get a lot of stuff super cheap in New Zealand. Okay, um, no. Things, now I actually wear bracelets occasionally to, oh, this is so heavy and so cute. Oh my goodness, it is a wrinkly, this is heavy. It's not solid metal. Oh, actually, if you look a bit into there, it looks, that might be why, maybe these parts are solid metal, but this is super heavy. This is a ring collector. And absolutely, I would have picked this up for about a dollar. So we're up to six fifty. No, these little bracelets are nice as fillers, but I have so many. Um, that is junk. So let's throw that in the bag. So the poor ladies at the thing don't need to do that one again. No, junk. Um, I have no idea what that is, but junk. That that good. Don't speak so soon, Lisa. Do you ladies see what I see? I see a board jointed doll belt. I'm not going to put any value on it. Um, I'm just going to put that aside. That is actually something that I'm going to use for my board jointed dolls. Oh my goodness gracious me. Now these things here you actually can pick up at the $2 shop for $2. So in this case I'm going to say 50 cents. Because if there's anything I know, the girls sometimes like to get dressed up. No junk. 50 cents. These are also actually really good. If you hold on to bracelets, you can get some really good ball jointed doll um, rings that are the right size. You can get some really good doll, ball jointed doll, like smart doll. You know how you can remove the hand and put them on? Bracelets. Cute, but no. What is this? A streaky bacon bracelet? Oh, I have to have this. Yep, I have to have that. I'm not putting a value on it. Um, Oh yeah, 50 cents, so we'll put that over. So what were we up to? Let's just say anything that goes over there will be 50 cents from this bag, but I've already made on this bag, so I'm not going to keep a tally anymore, plus I've forgotten what it's up to. <laughs> Alright, we have a forever ring and a little ring. I'm going to keep that as a bracelet for a board jointed doll. What is this? Phone charm. This I am going to keep because you can take this off. This is just held on by a hook. This is a tiny little ice cream. Again, I could put this on a necklace for a ball joint adult, so I'm definitely keeping that. And it's always fun to go through these things. You know, you never know what treasure. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments below if you're one of those people who loves to go through these bags and just see if you can find a treasure. Okay, so these are one of these things. I've actually pulled one of these apart before and used it in a necklace that I made for one of my smart dolls. Um, do any of my smart dolls need a pearl necklace? At the moment, I'm going to say no. And the same with that some friendship bracelet that's attached to it. A lot of friendship bracelets in here. No. Oh, I hate these band things. They were everything wear for a while. And people were making dresses out of them and all sorts of things. And I thought, ugh. Ugh, it's just rubber band junk waiting to be thrown out. So this is a really cute friendship brand that someone's made for someone else, I assume. Um, it's tied in a knot though, so no, we're just gonna put that in the junk. No, in the junk. Uh, nope, nope. Okay, a small one. Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna keep those. So down to the last little nitty gritty. All right. Wonderful. I wonder if I see I could use that as again to put around a ball jointed doll hip as a thing, but nah, I'm gonna throw it out because it's slightly bent. That's cute. I actually like this. This is cute. It's got like a little ring thing that I am gonna keep. What's this one? World vision. No. Oh, yeah, no. 
um, a pink bracelet. Does it have any missing? That I'm actually going to keep because I have some pink. I tend to go for thicker, larger bracelets, but um, that might actually go as a filler for some of my other pink ones. Okay, so what's the dealio with this one? Looks like you unscrew it at the top there. It's got a whole bunch of charms in here. The charms, super cute. Nah. This most definitely I'm keep. Mm, actually, no. Sorry, I thought this was like stones for a moment. I have ones that have like, um, you know, like precious stones hanging off. No, it's just plastic. Fantastic. That can go. That's a really small ring and a really good ball jointed doll. Like that's not even going to fit on my pinky right down. So this is a really good ball jointed doll bracelet. Uh, this is a key for some sort of lock. It's not going to be any good. So I'm going to keep all these rings. All these things. All those can go on the doggy. Look what we got. Just showing, you know, out of a little $4 bag, I got a whole bunch of toys that I want to collect. I got some jewelry. I got some things I can use for my ball jointed dolls. Really, really good. Ooh, now this is cute, but it might be child size. It's got a cross on the top. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. That one is definitely. So all these ones I have no interest in and I'm going to put back. I threw out some, but I... I'm very very happy with this four dollar bag haul especially because of the squinkies and the um, puppy in my pockets but there's also a bunch of other things especially these rings and this little doggy here which I can keep um, for myself and for my dolls so that one was a real fine let's get on to the next one okay so there's a big one right here let me see why I grabbed it oh okay <laughs> obviously because of all the um, not garbage pal, trash packs down here. And trash packs are one of our big collections. However, I'm gonna say that I might be feeling a bit skeptical on the other stuff. How much did I pay? $5 for this bag. But when it comes to trash packs, I can pick them up in little containers, say about five for a dollar. So we'll work it out in the end, see what how well I did. Okay. Oh, this looks like a big party. Okay, we got a plastic bowling ball. I'm just going to throw that out. <laughs> Some of these things that just come from the $2 store, I don't know why people don't throw them out. This is actually something that I can get from the $2 store, but I'm going to keep because my son's birthday's coming up. And last year we threw confetti all over the table. He absolutely loved it. So I'm going to keep this. Now, I would have brought this from the store for $2. So I'm going to keep, because I've brought it secondhand, I'm going to put it down to a dollar. Happily have paid a dollar for that if I've seen it in the markets because it's something I'm going to be buying anyway. So we have what looks like a balloon pump. Again, my son's party's coming up, but I'm not going to put a value on it because I probably wouldn't have brought these anyway. So I'm just going to put it aside. I just want to keep it for his party. Oh, we got some Russian dolls. Whoop. Very, very basic looking Russian dolls. I have some of the beautiful painted wooden, you know, the hand painted wooden. No, it's nothing that I would keep. I wish it was like my other ones, which have beautiful, beautiful painting on them. And they're just absolutely gorgeous. But this one, nah, can go back to the store. Some little lovely can enjoy it. Alrighty, we've got this giant pin. Oh my goodness, look at all these pins for this cheap little set. That one can go in the rubbish bin. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about what people put in the system. I'm like, okay, so again, Smiggles pins. I'm not going to put a value on them because I probably wouldn't have brought these ones from the market since they're those weird interchangeable ones. Um, my kids have had these before in the past and they're really annoying. They dry out super duper fast. So I'm just going to put them aside because we will use them if they're usable. But I wouldn't have picked them up and brought them. Okay, I got the pinwheel. Does it work? Aw, so cute. I wouldn't have brought it. I'm going to put it out in the garden. <laughs> so no value on it. Okay, we have a trash pack stuck in this little watering can come out my sweetheart ah yes 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 i love trash packs so much that little watering can it has a peppa pig on so i'll throw it into the system kids go crazy over peppa pig 
There we go, we got a funny little guy. Now I have all the collection lists for these things, so I'll find out which ones I have and which ones I don't. We have some more of these horrid little cheap plastic things. <laughs> Apparel of monkey. Look at this. I mean, I could possibly, oh my goodness, they just threw out everywhere because they got stuck all on my hands. Um, a tiny little barrel of monkeys. I possibly could keep this for my dolls, my ball jointed dolls um, room, but yeah, no. Uh, I prefer the world's smallest for it's a bit cheap. What is with toppers today? There is a mouse topper spinning top thing. I'll give that to the system. What have we got? Lego Ninjago the movie, we have a McDonald's toy. No interest. That can go back to the system. Throw out. So yeah, this one, I think I'm just going to be keeping all the trash packs. So if I can get everything out that's not a trash pack. We have a tiny little Rubik's Cube. Here. Eh, I'm going to give it back to the system. It's, I'm too stupid to do Rubik's Cube to be honest whole heap of trash packs. I'm not going to keep these at all because I have a million of these from previous ones already. So let's get rid of all these. I'm just going to get all the trash packs out and then we'll have a look. I'll have a count of them too to see how many is in there. Okay, I've just counted them. There's 68 in there. Now, like I said, generally for five, I'd pay around a dollar. So I am actually quite happy with this haul for five dollars. There are a lot of different series in there. Um, some series five of which I think we have almost the entire series five. Um, but there is a heap of series one. There's some series two. There's some of the rotten eggs, which I think is series six. And there's some of those trash pack cars, which we love. We don't actually have too many of those. So I was very happy with this. For $5, I probably would have actually picked this up. And if there's something I can say about um, boys toys, trash packs are always collectible. They have a big following still. I honestly wish that Moose had kept on with the follow-on, which was... I can't think of the follow-on now. Um, the one that came out recently and had the food, you know, the disgusting foods, very reminiscent of Trash Pack. I will put it down the bottom. But for the sake of getting on with the video, we've got two more bags. Let's do it. We have another $5 bag. What did I see? I saw Magic Diaper Babies. As soon as I see Magic Diaper Babies, I think these two actually at the end here both have Magic Diaper Babies in and like I said Magic Diaper Babies is one of my favorite vintage collectibles because it's something that's very nostalgic for me. So first off we're going to bring out a little McDonald's Cabbage Patch who I am actually going to keep. I would have easily paid 50 cents for her. Very happy. We have a Miss Piggy looking very luxurious. I'm assuming this goes in the bath but um yeah. Sorry, Miss Piggy. <laughs> but, okay. Now, these mermaids, absolutely. This is a magic diaper baby mermaid. I had the entire set when I was younger. I'm so, so incredibly happy. Um, some of them I'll have, some of them I won't have when it comes to the mermaids. Uh, we got a Flintstones house. Looks like a McDonald's toy. Eh, back to the system. We have a Barbie, McDonald's Barbie. I'm going to keep this. I would have paid 50 cents for this at the markets, um, just in case Astra doesn't have it. Now we have, oh, this is one of the Garfield ones. Um, I'll wait till if I can see the Garfield. Okay, so I've seen a lot of these lately. Um, the 101 Dalmatians. Now, what happened to these is these had the specialized plastic that if you left them even slightly in the sun, they went this horrid yellow. So you can see which side was to the sun. Uh, not something that I collect. I know there are people that look for them, but just not me. So I'll put it back in the system. Okay, we have a token. Who can token? Uh, let's have a look. Right there. It's got its tag on. It looks very, very clean. I am actually going to keep this one. That one we almost definitely keep. Okay, so it looks like we've got a like Cinderella carriage here. 
but it's not anything that I will what does this say Disney World 25 years yeah not anything I'm interested in someone else can love that magic diaper babies easily would have paid two dollars each for these so this bag looking at is gonna be uh probably the best bag out of the lot that I've got at least in my opinion a mermaid so cute <gasps> And another one, this is from the baby line. So cute, I love them. Now, if you're not familiar with Magic Diaper Babies, there is effectively two of each you could get, one boy, one girl. I try to hold on to my double ups as swaps. I personally don't care if they're a boy or a girl. I just want one of each type. They're very sad looking bubba there, needing some food. I'm trying to get out all the Magic Diaper Babies now. Look at all these diaper babies, I'm so happy. <laughs> Um, this bag is probably going to make up for all that terrible one before. Well, it is. It absolutely is. Oh, look how cute the little mermaid ones are. I find the mermaid ones the hardest ones of all to find. Little piggy from the pet line. So cute. What else have we got in here? We have another of the Dalmatians. I'll put it back for someone else to get. And another one of the Dalmatians. Yeah, you can see the sun's hit this one at the top. It's um, just something that happens with certain toys, you know. Whenever we buy toys, we really don't know where they're going to end up. It's got its tag on, it's very clean, so I'm going to keep this one. If they've got dirt on them, just throw them out. Honestly, they sit on the shelves at the four thrift stores forever. Oh, I think this is a Tommy Tinkles. 1993 Tommy Tinkles. So it's a bit dirty, but I'm going to clean this up. Um... I actually managed to find a rare one of these and oh my goodness I know that I paid something so tiny for it and it actually had a huge value on it I don't I didn't sell it or anything I put it away in storage but um some of those you know when you get weird kind of random things like that there's always somebody who's going to click them now a McDonald's toy that I'm going to hold on to this is a Muppets Baby Miss Piggy I had all of these when I was little and I absolutely love them this is back when McDonald's toys rocked before they came out with all these terribly plastic fantastic awful looking cheap things I loved the 1980s early 90s um, McDonald's toys I wish they would bring them back like this. This would have been so much cooler in the 1980s if they'd made it then. This 2009 one is just cheap plastic. <laughs> that can go back in the system. We got a funny little lady here, Fun Rise. Uh, she's a bit scary, my dear, so she's going back in the system. Not for me. Okay, we got a weird sort of like shaky toy. You got to try and get the rings on the things in the box and neck. <laughs> I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. Okay, so we've got a Barbie, which we most definitely are going to hold on to. McDonald's Barbie. She looks like she's sightseeing while on the bicycle. She's having a good time out there. Good on you, my dear. We'll keep you there. All right, so a Berenstain's Bear figurine. I don't know if this is a McDonald's. No, it's not. I was going to say the plastic is could have been in the 1980s this is sister bear she's very cute and we have a yodi who's missing his garfield which is a shame if it had the garfield i would have kept it but um yeah both of these can go back in the system so this bag i'm gonna bring the camera down i did really well on all right so what i would have paid at the markets two four six eight ten twelve 14 and if you look on trade me some of the people trying to sell these are selling them off for like five dollars each ridiculous so what did i say so 14 dollars right here out of my five dollar bag and all these rest of these things i would value at 50 cents uh 14 15 16 17 17 50 so that bag was a real win but there is one more bag to come where i saw a magic diaper baby and i don't know if it's going to have as many as this but we'll see Okay, so the last bag of the night, you can instantly see the Magic Diaper Pet. It's the same one I got from the $2 bag I got, but as I said, I will grab all the Magic Diaper Pets because they are easily tradable with um, vintage toy lovers like me, 1980s sort of toy lovers, so <laughs> I'm all for it. Whether I win on this bag, I don't know. Um, to be honest, that last bag and probably the Squinkies bag 
Oh, and the trash pack bag as well. I'm super duper happy with all my finds. Now I brought these over the space of a month plus. So it's not like I've dumped a whole bunch of money into them all at once. They all just kind of lined up and I stacked them up waiting <laughs> till I had a big one to do a big video on since I don't get the time to post much. Now this is a kind of a vintage toy. I remember this when I was young. There was this moon guy who had some stuff to do with McDonald's and nothing really that I really cared about though. Okay, we got a Pocahontas Pew! guy with some um, thing there. We got another Pocahontas guy with the hero there. Nah, if I'm throwing him out the back, I don't want it. We got a Rubik's thing, which actually has a dollar sign on it. I don't know where anybody would pay a dollar for that, but um, we'll throw that down there. <laughs> We've got a little chicken that pops out of a bookcase. Nah. We have a watery mobile phone thing. That is just going to be thrown out because the water's disintegrated over time. We have another chicken that'll pop out of a bookcase. Nah. <laughs> Magic diaper baby! So this bag was $5. So we just need one more of these and I've done it. So this is a little kitty with a dummy. So cute! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, we'll put our magic diaper babies. So where's the one I saw before since I said we have two? Okay, yeah. So this one here, which we saw in the first bag. Yeah. Gorgeous. Love it. Oh, it's a mermaid. It's a mermaid. We have made our money back. Well, we've made what I would have spent for my collection, basically. So anything past this is a bonus out of this bag. I got so many mermaids. And honestly, I find the mermaids just so... So hard to pick up. I see the babies, eh, not a lot, but moderately, you know. I see the pets, mm, a little bit rarer, and the mermaids, I hardly ever see it more. So I'm super duper excited right now. I've got a Kermit the Frog Pirate, cool. Um, <laughs> I have a really strange looking sheep. Meh, where's my nose? I do not know. Ah, uh, fakey Lego. That can go. And Esmeralda on, I don't know if these were McDonald's or what, but I've seen these before. I'm actually going to keep this. Esmeralda, you know, The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Disney, I feel is like such an underrated Disney movie. Um, especially that song, um, like Fire, Hellfire, when he's singing it and that thing. It, that is just so visually beautiful for an animated film. Uh, we got a couple of McDonald's dudes in a fire truck. We have an old... Um, Rescue, what were they called? Rescue Tales or something like that. Um, one of those. Not interested in it. McDonald's Broody. Nah. <laughs> A McDonald's uh, Burger Thief guy. Nah. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is a Transformer Bumblebee car? Hmm. It's got like him underneath Hasbro. I'm actually going to hold on to that. I might get rid of that at a later date. Okay, we got a Charlie Brown writing some cheese. Well, it's not Charlie Brown, but one of the girls' characters from the show. We have um, what it looks like a McDonald's Tails Nap. <laughs> okay, we have a McDonald's Fries Wind Up. Doesn't work. So many wind up toys just do not work half the time. Oh, and another scary looking one. So maybe it was Jack and Jill, the other one? I don't know. It's another scary looking character. Another scary looking character. Those are like solid plastic. So good quality plastic, but I do not like the look of their faces. We have a KLM, whatever the, on earth that is. Um, plane. A heap of these are going in. Oh, okay. So I think this one you used to change the character every time you put it. Yeah, I remember this from when I was little too. That I'm not interested in. We've got some from the real life Flintstones movie. Car. Nope. This I am keeping. This is one of the McDonald's Mario toys when I think, was it when the um, Mario 3 came out? The one with the raccoon tail came out. A lot of these I find the spring underneath is broken or the bottom platform is missing but this one's actually okay so this guy I am gonna keep. Oh he's missing a skateboard! Oh vintage Garfield but he's missing a skateboard so nah. 
um, from oh DuckTales, the little girl one, Wendy I think her name was. An Ushi! Now an Ushi I'm definitely going to keep, um, especially in Australia. These are super duper 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 collectible and if you've seen what some of them sell for on eBay, like the rare ones, oh my goodness. I was so glad I got um, all the lim limited editions. You can see my videos on those, some of them the tens of thousands of views. Um, they are so incredibly popular with especially with younger boys now so if you're gonna say oh but my girl collects them well of course there are exceptions to the rule there's barbie ones and stuff but with boys especially in my um experience um they are super duper collectible some little toys i'm just gonna grab all these we've got some square heads those were from a new zealand promotion for gas uh so another mcdonald's toy and a weird looking fireman so from this bag it was not as good as the original bag but let's look down and see what i got all right so not as good as the previous bag but that's okay two four six all the rest of these 50 cents each seven eight yep but still better than you know if i'd individually bit brought them from the market sort of deal anyway that is the end of my thrift store marketplace secondhand basically bag lot where i challenge myself to see one thing in the bag that i like then buy the entire bag the only bag which was very very disappointing was the one which housed this guy i could have got a better deal on that just buying him individually but that's all right I have done so well, especially with the, as I said, the Magic Diaper Pets, the Trash Packs, and the Squinkies. Those are all things I absolutely love. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> if you went through this entire bit long video with me, good on you. You're a pro. Thank you so much for watching me, guys. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.